I feel like I've known Hetty all my life. My name is Karen Strickland. I'm a genealogist and historian, and this is the story of Hetty Anderson, one of the most accomplished models in the Gilded Age. Hetty Eugenia Anderson, or Hetty as she was called, was born around 1873 during the Reconstruction period in Columbia, South Carolina. Her family was made up of free people of color, and they played a significant role in the community. By 1900, Hetty and her mother had moved north to New York City to a tenement at 698 Amsterdam Avenue. This was during the Gilded Age, an era of opulence and immense wealth for a few. In New York, Hetty attended the Art Students League, where she became the inspiration for many works of art. Renowned artists like Daniel Chester French, who used her as a model for the spirit of life, John Lafarge, who used her for Athens, and Augustus St. Gaudens, who created the General William Tecumseh Sherman Monument at Grand Dame Plaza in Manhattan, recognized her as a model of exceptional talent. Despite her popularity among artists, time forgot about Hetty. She passed away in 1938, documented as a single white model on her death certificate. She was buried in an unmarked grave in a mostly white cemetery in Columbia. However, the South Carolina African American Heritage Commission collaborated with the South Carolina Numismatic Association and purchased a gravestone for Hetty Anderson. Although unknown by many today, Hetty Anderson made a significant impact in the world of art as she was the first female African American artist model of her generation. And you can see her legacy and likeness in this figure at the Grand Army Plaza in Central Park today.